Hello, doing a review on the Vintage Runner Buggy. And what I have here is the box of it. Uh, it says super fast racer up to 30 miles per hour. It comes with everything. Fully assembled, rechargeable, digital portional. And it's made by Spica. And these are really hard to find. You really don't see them anywhere. It's like a complete package box. As you can see, it has a handle. And like you're just carrying out the, out the store here. You know, transmitter and all, and the buggy itself. Here it says, three step forward and reverse speed control front and rear coil spring shock absorber sealed gear top gearbox with differential and it says one tenth scale RC high performance off-road racer so um, I have this and just gonna take a look at it see what the, the runner is all about here Here's the manual. You can kind of see it's in action here. This buggy, a lot of buggies like the Hornet or Grasshopper. A lot of companies try to copy the same design except they made changes to the frame. Of course, this is totally different from the Tamiya, but like the body here is it's kind of grasshopper-ish. And we'll take it out in a moment. But I'll show you the manual. There. You could recharge it, looks like. The recharger, the transmitter. Pretty complete manual. Everything it tells everything about it. What to do, not to do here it says. Be careful, don't touch the resistors. Hot. That was a no-no in those days because you could get burnt. Here's a famous cartoon pictures. So like I said, this is a rare buggy, vintage. And I don't see any of these around, these type of buggies. So here we have the parts where you can get parts through here, like $5 for gears, $5 for shocks, fiberglass chassis here. Eight dollars. I don't think this has any optional parts besides the battery pack and the charger. I mean, like hop-up parts. Anyways, let's take it out here Put it on the ground. Here's the transmitter. On the box, it shows these gold. And looks like it faded after many years sitting. <laughs> and it has little power lamps right there. And this here is for show. It's a sticker to show like a frequency meter or something or whatever that means. Maybe it has something to do with the digital portional, but it's just a sticker. And see the batteries here. 6AA batteries looks like. And there's the charging charging jack right there. So that's pretty cool that it, it gave you that feature. Here is uh, <laughs> rarely you'll see one of these is the looks like a battery pack holder and you put your C cell batteries in here. 
and but better yet I would just go buy a 7.2 battery to replace this so I guess this was just a just to put it in there as an add-on to save money on the kit so here's that and here's the oops, buggy itself Hmm. Um, as you can see the antenna here it's like a wire piece here that could, that's springy you got the Spica spike tires Roadrunner tires pretty cool and if you could see here you have the bronze bushings so that's a neat feature feature better than those plastic ones really hated those plastic bushings um, on any car I hate plastic bushings so here's bumper as you can see and you know this wasn't the most sturdiest as you can see sturdiest buggy the Tamayas were way way sturdier but um, they, for what you got, the price, it was affordable. And here's the grasshopper-like body. Got your famous runner, happy face. And here's the insides of it. Um, Hmm. Probably disappointing for a few of you vintage seeing this that it's the famous monoshock, but um, hmm. even though it says off road racer, this is a light duty off road racer. Um, it, uh, let's see here. It did its job, let's put it that way. Uh, I wouldn't. I'd try not to crash this, let's put it that way too. Um, usually you'd see maybe either a mono shock in the front and dual shocks in the back or uh, dual shocks in the front and a mono shock in the back, but here in this case we have two front and rear mono shocks. And well, I guess to be on a positive note, it's better than nothing. It does work. Um, it's not an independent suspension. Independent in itself, that it's one suspension. But, I don't know. It does the job. Here's the fiberglass chassis. One thing I do have to say, it's lightweight, this vintage buggy. Um, really lightweight, so that's a advantage. As you can see, the shock, and it has some red parts on it. Here's the bottom front here, skid plate, I guess, red and red, and the servos are in red. So that's kind of neat. If you're, you know, remember this is the. This is the 80s, and 80s were famous for all the neat colors. And this is kind of like a, um, a roll bar, carrying bar, whatnot. Um, has differential, so that's a nice feature. Very good. And a 540 motor enclosed. And it is in K, so you don't burn your fingers. This here, as you can see, needs fixing, so I'm going to have to fix this. I got to rewire all this. Um, you can see, so what happens when a battery is left in the battery case too long, you get, uh, get the acid coming out of it, drying up. So if you have any vintage RCs, remember to take the batteries out for long-term storage, or any RC. So here, 
by the way, this would, I forgot how this connected, somewhat like, um, this would go like this, and it would connect somewhat like that, anyway, some fixing I need to do with that, um, you can see as for this servo here, the linkage, it's a long part of it, it goes a long way, um, but uh, I guess everything's different. That's okay. It's good to be different. Um, here you get charging jack, as you can see. And there is the speed control. And it's different. It's really different. Um, 